Hello and welcome to our portion on setting up our menus and sidebars for our WebQuest template. Now where we left off was we had the eight different pages in place and we had copied and pasted the text, the default text into each of these. If you have not done that, I recommend that you go back to the previous section as linked from our course and go ahead and get that done. Now if I take a look here, I can see that my eight pages are laying in across the top and I've got some pieces running down the left side. These are all widgets and uh, we can play with those as well. The first thing to remember is that if you do not have a login on your screen, in this case I do, but if you didn't, you would have to remember to go to your web address and type in wp-admin right behind the web address. And once you're there, you can go ahead and log in and that we're logged in, let's go back and take a look at this. This particular portion up here is the default menu for this particular theme. And the way I'm going to manipulate that menu as well as all menus is if I come over to appearance and then I come down to menus. Now the default is set to take any pages that I create and automatically layer them across the top without um, any particular format except for in alphabetical order. So going to go ahead and change that. The first thing I need to do is again I'm on appearance menus and I'm at the edit menu screen. I can create many different menus and place them all over my um, website. But in this particular case I'm going to name this one main nav. Now the naming convention has to make sense to you. You will never see this phrase main nav out on your pages but I always like to make it make sense. For example, this is going to be my main navigation. This is also indicating to me that I can automatically add new top level pages. That's already happening. And I am going to say that this is my primary menu. Note that that it's already happening that these things are being added. So I don't want to do that automatically. I do want to come over and click on save menu on occasion. And what I do want to do now is over on the left hand side here, if I collapse this, there's this block of options. I can add categories, I could add hyperlinks to external sites, and then I can also add pages. Well, these are pages that I'm adding because they've already been um, introduced. And I don't have to add them in order because I can just drag and drop them wherever, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the first couple in order. So I've clicked on Home and I clicked on Add to Menu. My next one is Introduction and Add to Menu. <clears throat> task and I'm just going to actually whip through here and add them all to the menu. Now in this particular case I can see that this is not the order I want these in. I want teacher page to appear last so I'm going to click and drag it down to the bottom position. Similar I want task to fall basically third in line so I'm going to click and drag that up and if you notice here, it's indented. Let me go ahead and save this and show you what that would result in. Because you can certainly use that if you wanted to. I'm going to go out to my website and I'm going to reload. Now if we take a look one more time to recall, task has now become a sub item to introduction. So if I come over here, I can see introduction has a little drop down arrow. And if I hover, now I have that sub menu, right? In this particular case, I don't want that to be a sub menu at all. I want it to be a menu that falls in line across the top. But I'm pointing this out to you because this is a great way to create sub menus. And what you can do is either drag it out so that it comes back out and in line with everything, or alternately, you could also click down and um, indicate to remove it from the sub menu. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these in place here. I want the evaluation to be next. I want the conclusion to be next. So I have home, introduction, task, process. Oops, evaluation needs to come in here. 
Sometimes you have to really drag them to the left to get them to fall in line. Evaluation, conclusion, credits, and teacher page. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then once I've saved that, if I come back out here and refresh it or reload, that indeed my web quest menu lays in line where I want it to be. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and take care of, by the way, once this menu's set up and in line, there's not much to go back to fuss with, fussing with it. If <clears throat> there are tools that are uh, important to create, say a, another menu, we can do that as well. And before we get into that, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and put in some other decorative types of elements on this particular page. Okay, before I move on to widgets, I'm going to go through the practice of creating yet another menu just to show you how I can create these menus as well as to give you a little bit of practice doing that. So I'm going back to my dashboard and then I'm going to go to appearance and menus and now I'm going to click on because I have my main menu in place don't want to touch that I'm going to create a new menu and this time I'm going to create I'm going to create a tools menu and perhaps if I had another page that I wanted to add to this I could go ahead and and just drag and drop the page over there but this time let's play with links perhaps I want to add um, student Gmail and I might even call it student email so I've typed in the web address over here and I've given it a link here and I'm going to click to add to menu and while that's kinda twirling away I'm going to go ahead and search really quickly an online dictionary that I perhaps want my students to be able to use so I'm going to let me drag that over here so you can see what that is right here's the online dictionary that I just researched and found so I'm gonna <clears throat> highlight that and right click and copy or just do a control C I'm going to come back in here to WordPress and I'm going to erase the default and I'm going to just paste it in there and I'm going to say dictionary and add that to the menu and once I've made my changes I'm going to go ahead and click on save menu and I'm going to pop out and refresh my screen super quick so that I can see what changes have occurred and here's my student email and dictionary in the next tutorial I will be talking about widgets in terms of being able to move these pieces around and do different things see you then